Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Alrighty. So, as you know, there was going to be a video today, but it got corrupted. Fuck you, OBS. Language! So instead, we're going to try and watch this one. But, uh, once I could be centered, we're going to try and watch this one. We have crazy high-speed truck chases this time instead of car chases and bike chases. So, let's get into it, shall we? From a pickup truck in San Francisco that lost control and slammed the median, and a pit maneuver in Arkansas that finally ended this high-speed chase, to a driver in Ohio who tried to escape the police by okay, crashing so these into are a like school, and much more. Here pickup trucks. They're not really truck police chases caught trucker truckers. Roy Flowers is a familiar face to police officers in Jonesboro, Arkansas. In 2019, the then 58-year-old was arrested on several drug-related charges. While executing a search warrant, police also found two pistols, several <laughs> smoking pipes, <gasps> smoking pipes, and multiple digital scales. Guys, don't it smoke. Like Smoking's Mr. bad. Flowers kept a low profile for the next five years. That, or he was in jail. Then, on April 5th of 2024, April 5th, Officer Nash Thomas pulled up behind Roy's <gasps> And We're back in Arkansas again. To another man. Let's see if Mr. Flowers complies with Trooper Thomas or decides to make things worse. Tempo on Aggie and Howard. Can you step back here with me? Yes. Sir. Should I just turn on subtitles at the start of every video now? Because you know, cops are so hard to hear. Wait, is it in your right pocket? That's fine. It's not on you. No. Okay. Just step back here. <laughs> Dispatch 1037. <laughs> The dog wants to be on my bed. So I'm like, fine, go on bed, dog. Yep. I know. Melons and balance. Hey, Badpool, how's it going, dude? Badpool, today we're watching trucker uh, police chases on most dangerous. 40, we're and we're back in our favorite place, Arkansas. Well, these are more pickup trucks, I guess. Not really actual trucker drivers. Maybe we're going to see some trucker drivers. I don't know. I'm doing good, just playing Lies of PP. Liza PP, damn. I haven't played that game. I want to play the game, but you know, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's from me. It's a Souls like I know it's a Souls like I've seen Gomez play it actually. Police have set up a roadblock, hoping to stop Roy in his tracks. Unfortunately, he spots it at the last second and I think so. turns into a parking lot. This chase is about to push Trooper Thomas's cruiser to the absolute limit. As what are these coordinates up on the top of the screen? Like, I know it's north and west, but is that where we are in Arkansas? Because I could never read coordinates. Maybe someone will tell me in the comments. People actually started answering me in the comments when I ask questions now. <laughs> Yes. Yes, the air coordinates, Sunny. That is correct. Oh, okay. I suppose the coordinates keep do change. They keep on changing whenever, wherever the cop turns and all that. I don't know. I'm a dumbass. After me rage uninstalling Liza P twice at a boss, I finally beat the boss I was stuck on. Now I have maybe three bosses left. Is there is there a new game plus or is it just you're done, once you're done the game, you're done the game? I would assume there's a new game plus. If there's no new game plus, then I don't know, maybe there's a DLC. But 
But don't get me wrong, the game looks interesting. Jesus. ASP Nash Thomas. You can't see. Oh, you can't see actually. 30, 10, 11. What's 30, 10, 11? I have so many questions and I have no answers. Well, I know that. Yeah, there's a new Game Plus and DLC coming. Oh, so maybe. Maybe soon is the right time to get it then. Get the game, do the new game plus, get the DLC. It might cost more, but you know. You know, a pickup truck would be nice, but there'd just be no space for it. <laughs> doesn't want to lose flowers, but knows his cruiser can't take much more punishment. He sticks to the pavement and then turns down a narrow dirt road. His timing <clears throat> couldn't have been better, as he spots Roy at the last second, speeding by at the end. <laughs> okay, I won't get a pickup, jeez. <laughs> Depending on how long it takes me to beat the rest of the game, I probably won't do the DLC for a while. Really? I suppose that's valid. You wanna... You're just after beating a game, you... You... You, you uninstalled it. You rage uninstalled it once. You came back to it. You have three bosses left. I wouldn't want to go straight into the DLC. <laughs> Fucking hell, I, I didn't get the DLC for Elden Ring on day one. So I wasted a while until I was a bit stronger. No. I never will. I'm like that meme on TikTok. I think it's of Gojo. It's a picture of Gojo with a caption. It's like if it has a if it has a health bar, it can be killed. <laughs> I didn't get the DLT for Elden Ring till maybe a month after. Yeah, same actually. I knew the price wasn't going to change. DLC prices never go up or down. So I was just like, I'll get it when I know I have enough for it and I don't go bankrupt. <laughs> that cop is so pissed off. Get on the ground. I mean, in any of these videos. To an inmate list of I'll wait until this caption is done. Office, 63 year old Roy Flowers was charged with fleeing, non payment of fines, and violating his parole. If we had to guess, Ooh, he, he missed parole. parole from his 2019 conviction when Trooper Thomas pulled up behind him. Number five. Toledo, Ohio is a large city on the western shores of Lake Erie. It sits just below the Michigan border and is home to hey, it's Montreal and 70,000 people. On September 20th of 2023, I don't know, it's somewhere in America, <laughs> I think. I just know Montreal, I've heard that before. Speed. <laughs> Our officer flipped his lights and sirens on, but Ryan had no intention of stopping. Instead, he kicked his truck into high gear and led police on a short chase that ended in the classroom of a local elementary school. Oh, damn. What was I going to say about cops? Uh, the longer you keep them chasing you, the more they're going to be pissed off with you. <laughs> oh, I know. Why is he... Oh, did the driver crash? He did crash. I didn't even see him crash. Oh, he crashed into a building. Okay. Do you see that giant hole Ryan's truck left? That is eight-year-old Charlie's special needs classroom. You see, Charlie... <laughs> he crashed into a special needs classroom? Oh my god. He took his eyesight when he was little. It'll soon take his legs and cause him to suffer frequent seizures. Thankfully, Charlie has a community that loves and supports him. Inside that classroom were all the special tools he needed to learn alongside his classmates. Now, they're shattered into a million pieces under Ryan Hasselbach's truck. It 
takes a few minutes, but officers finally get him out of his truck and bring him back to their <laughs> car. He has no idea how much damage Papu, he's no. In the end, Ryan was arrested and charged with failure to comply, obstructing uh, official business. Bapul said that was very special of him. Report, the crash caused an because it's a special needs school. Damage to the school, not including all of Charlie's special equipment. <laughs> Pickup trucks can take a beating. Just ask this driver from San Francisco, California. San Fran. Oh my God. Holy cow. I was in a special needs classroom growing up. I'm allowed. All right. We'll give you. We'll give it to you this time. He veered right, overcorrected left, and wound up smashing into the concrete barricade. By some miracle, he walked away from the crash without any serious injuries. Mm. His bulky pickup likely saved his life. A woman in Sebastian County, Arkansas, learned a similar lesson when she used her truck more like a battering ram. It was May 5th of 2020. Highway patrol officers are in hot pursuit of a red pickup truck recently stolen along Highway 45. The driver, 20 Highway 45, driver, also stole the owner's gun and had no problem waving it at the police. A deputy with the Sebastian County Sheriff's Department tailed Jennifer for several miles as she hit speeds over 100 miles per hour. Then she suddenly stopped and it looked like she was about to surrender. But Jennifer had no such intention. Instead, she used the stolen truck's size to her advantage. Of course. Guys, we, we need a counter for how many times in, in every video we're in Arkansas. It'd probably be over 50 by now. Nope, get, nope, back in the car. <laughs> Force man, she just ran my vehicle. It's 10 7. She does have a gun in hand. Continue on, sir. 10. What's a 10 7? Jennifer sped off after the hit disabled our officer's car. Unable to move, he got out to inspect the damage. You can see where the bed of Jennifer's stolen truck crumpled his hood and destroyed his headlights. But just because this officer is out of the pursuit doesn't mean it's over. Up ahead, Arkansas State Police Trooper Araujo Diego was waiting on a side street when he spotted Jennifer's truck speeding by. He hit the gas to catch up, and the chase was back on. Apparently there's a Gohan black now in Dragon Ball. What is that? Do I know of Goku black? Not Goku Black, but I've heard of Goku. I don't know Dragon Ball very well, dude. After a few high speed miles, Trooper Diego finally catches up. Oh, that, that guy is Zama. Pronunciation work, please. Zamasu? <laughs> My pronunciation is absolutely garbage. So it's basically the super evil version of Goku for Goku Black. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it now. As they approach a slow speed zone, Jennifer uses the yes, I actually do. rear end technique to disable Trooper Diego's car. Gohan is another character in Dragon Ball, and now there's a Gohan Black, so there's an evil version of Gohan. You are not hitting the back of that truck. You gotta pit it on the side. Yes, and Gohan is Goku's son. Oh, that changes things. Diego to slam his brakes. She speeds away, and he'll have to step on the gas to catch up. When he finally does, he spots Jennifer taking a sharp right turn. This chase is about to go off road. This Comer Lane, I believe, is a dead end. She just turned down.
Gohan is half human and half Saiyan, Saiyan, Saiyan. And apparently his power potential is better than Goku because he's a half breed. Oh. That is the last we'll see of Jennifer for a few minutes. Her stolen pickup can simply go places that our police vehicles can't. Trooper Diego and another officer are forced to turn around and go back the way they came. It'll be several more minutes before police locate her truck. In pursuit time, a few minutes can feel like an eternity. You never know how far the suspect got or who they may have hurt. Thankfully, Arkansas State Troopers located Jennifer speeding down a narrow back road. Oh, the cop is drifting. <laughs> he's going to he's going Tokyo drift. I know, yeah. <laughs> Hitting this pickup truck in the back is not going to do shit. Jennifer pulls that rear end trick several times before making a beeline for the freeway. That's when she screams past a pair of highway patrol officers who immediately join the chase. We'll oh my god. Them until the end. Jennifer doesn't know it, but her time is quickly running out. Huh. Hmm. They have to catch up. They're gonna have to pit her. They're gonna have to hit that back tire and send her flying. They also have to be cautious. Apparently, she has a gun. But you know, it's Arkansas. It's America. Probably. I swear, if this cop hits her in the back again, it's not going to work. I want you to pit. Where you send him into the side of the road, so it's it's in the pit, like that's why it's called a pit. Um, no. Yeah, she she knows she's fucked. In the end, Jennifer Porter was arrested and charged with eight counts of felony aggravated assault. Holy shit! In possession of a stolen firearm. During her wild chase, she rammed four police cruisers, including the one she. Defeated. She rammed four police cruisers. After her arrest. If we had to guess, she spent the next couple of months mm. behind bars waiting for her trial. You don't steal a bright red truck and ram multiple police cars and expect to get away with it. And she's happy out in the back seat as a cop car and smiling. Some criminals will do whatever it takes to avoid the police. Take 35-year-old William Field of St. Lucie County, Florida, for example. On May 3rd of 2024, officers with the Indian River County Sheriff's Office spotted William driving recklessly shortly before 11.30 p.m. They followed him into a gas station and tried pulling him over. They should have assumed that this wanted drug dealer had other ideas. Oh, the 
audio check, chat. How are we doing? Are we doing good? He running. He running. Stop, you idiot! Can't I bite you? Another officer takes over and chases William into the trees. That's when he hears a loud splash and discovers William doing his best Michael Phelps impression. Audio seems good. Thank you, Basil. Thank you for telling me, sir. Hey, you better f stop. We going in the water? <laughs> He's right here. I apologize for the hiccups. It was a good try, but he'd never outswim police canine units. All they had to do was drive around to the other side of the lake and wait for William to emerge like a swamp monster. <laughs> They got him. K9 units got him. The plot thickened when police found a frightened woman inside William's truck. They also found a massive haul of drugs, including Jeez. 73 grams of ketamine, 49 grams no of fentanyl, girl. and almost <laughs> 1,800 grams of marijuana, which is still illegal in Florida. As the cherry on top, police learned that William had an active warrant for his arrest. In the end, he was charged with multiple crimes, including DUI, fleeing, possession, and kidnapping slash false imprisonment. That last charge suggests the woman in his car had nothing to do with his crimes and was an unwilling participant in the chase. Number two. Criminals will come up with all <clears throat> kinds of excuses for why they ran from the police. This 30-year-old <laughs> from Mulberry, Arkansas, claims his brain tumor made him do it. On July 19th of 2022, a man calling himself Robert Regal fled the scene of a traffic stop in a rented Chevy Silverado. He wasn't alone in the car either. His buddy, 32-year-old Schaffer Smith, was riding shotgun while a pregnant young woman sat in the back. The chase began around 7.20 p.m. and continued for about 12 minutes before police made any real progress. That One officer got in position to pit, PM. but Robert managed to evade him at the last second, leading to a minor collision with our tailing officer's car. 7.20 p.m. here is dark. Still trying to pit him out. Uh, speed's 95. The guy's still swerving. Still light traffic. Coming up the city of Dyer. It wasn't Speed this day. morning, but it wasn't that bright. Yeah, no, but they said PM, not AM. Four to twenty-one. This on screen right now is seven twenty PM. Okay, we fitted him out. He's got back on the roadway. I thought AM. You would think so, but no. Stand by. We're back eastbound on 64. 21, you may have to get up there. I don't know if my car's going to make it. I got a, quite a bit of damage, I think. Eastbound, I don't know what's wrong with my unit. Go, go. Yeah, I'm having issues too. It was a black male driver. Our trooper's car is pretty banged up, but he thinks he's got enough juice to stay in the chase. He finally catches up to the Silverado and tries ending the pursuit himself. Some places don't have daylight savings, so maybe that's why. Maybe. All right, we're coming up to uh, exit 20. 
Exit Yeah, we're eastbound on 64, coming towards Mulberry. 10-4, eastbound on 64, coming in Mulberry. Alright, we continued on passing Dollar General, speed's 85. 21, you're gonna have to get up here. 10-4, passing Dollar General, speed's 85. We're coming up to, uh, they apparently do have daylight savings, it's just delayed for them. How delayed though? Alright, this is the last ad I can snooze on Twitch. I'm gonna snooze it for the video. The truck has uh, driver side damage now from my pit. Yeah, more driver side damage. He's passing somebody on the right shoulder. Speed 62. I need a charger up here. This guy's got too much uh, takeoff and uh, get go. Come on, 21. Keep your speed up. Our trooper's damaged cruiser can't keep up despite his best efforts. Thankfully, his fellow officer is close behind so I think. and ends this chase Jeez. once and for all. Okay. Speed's 100. We're passing Little Mulberry. There we go. The charger okay, got him. Our correction, he got him pitted out. Pitted out. People, put it out, little Mulberry. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get Get your hands up! The driver, who identified himself as Robert Regal, allegedly gave police multiple different names after the crash. <laughs> wow. We never learn his true identity, but we do know why he ran from the police. Just uh, did, man. I don't want no problems. Get up. Hop up. I got a brain tumor. Yeah. yeah. Well, brain didn't tumor didn't keep you from running from the police and act <laughs> like an idiot. I don't care who you are now. I'm trying to be out. Trying to be out. I was just scared. Dude. dude, are you kidding me right now? No, sir. I mean, we run 130 mile an hour from the state line, okay? Before Oklahoma even gets involved, Oklahoma's in, in, in it way before we were, okay? And you're gonna put everybody's lives at risk, run 130 mile an hour, weaving in and out of traffic, blowing through intersections, you almost killed a family in freaking Alma, okay? And then you're gonna drive like a fool and tr and, and do this, tear and all the like cars up for what? <laughs> Because you're scared? No, uh, because we had a... We, we, we had Get in the car! I get some AC. I really have, I really have Get in the car! I don't want to hear another excuse. He doesn't excuse. The cop doesn't care anymore. Mr. Regal, if that is his real name, goes on to call his girlfriend to break the bad news. Meanwhile, police chat with the pregnant woman, who claims she doesn't know either man. She allegedly met them through her boyfriend, and the trio was driving up from Dallas. It's unclear where they were going or what they were up to. Then again, who knows what Robert's brain tumor was secretly making him do? <laughs> wow. <laughs> May 30th of 2018, police in Hudson, Wisconsin are in hot pursuit of a stolen truck fleeing the scene of an attempted traffic stop. The driver, 33-year-old Cassidy Mickey of Fredonia, stole Cassidy the truck Mickey. over the weekend in St. Croix County. I this leads Mickey the police from, uh, on a multi-town chase before finally pulling off the main road and into a small neighborhood. That's when he decides to test his stolen truck's off-roading capabilities. Um, speaking of, we're gonna get those uh, guys sometime this month. It is happening on the 3rd of November, ours is 27th, I think, as in 27th of this month for us. Oh, he said bull? I thought he said bull too. It's like, that's some bullshit.
Cassidy gets back on the pavement, but won't stay there long. He narrowly avoids a T-bone collision before cutting through someone's driveway and speeding across their yard. Why is the last one have to have the worst dash cam ever? <clears throat> He's not getting away. My god, the cop is still trying- or not the cop, the su suspect is still trying to get away like. My god. I don't know. He's not giving up anyway. Hmm. The cop. The captions say applause and music, but it's sirens and a cop saying stop. I don't know. Okay, they're saying get your if you hands up. Back, you yeah. can hear the moment when Lieutenant Brent Standard shoots out the suspect's tires. Oh, did he? Oh, he did too. One of the cops uh, shot out the suspect's tires. According to Lieutenant Standard, they didn't have any spike strips on hand to deflate the tires. He took a clear, point-blank shot, finally ending this dangerous pursuit. It turns out Cassidy stole the pickup from a car dealership near Deer Park, a small town about 30 miles outside of Hudson. He was ultimately charged with burglary, second-degree reckless endangerment, and driving a vehicle without the owner's consent. The state dropped nine other charges after Cassidy accepted a deal and pleaded guilty to the counts we just listed. The St. Croix County Assistant DA requested that he be sentenced to five five years in prison and five years of extended supervision. Was that stolen truck really worth the next 10 years of his life? We certainly don't think so. Jesus Christ. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. I must want it. Okay. If you did see this video, thank you for watching. And if it did get posted, then it's not corrupted. Yay. Awesome. We'll see you in the next one.